Our goal is to assist our faculty and experts in training nurses, doctors, residents and fellows in anything that they need to be trained in. One of the big parts of that program is our simulation program. Basically what medical simulation is, is you um, simulate or pretend that you're in different environments and situations that you expect to encounter at the hospital or while you're at work. Twenty years ago, and even ten years ago in many places, the standard was as doctors trained, doctors and nurses trained, they practiced on patients. And that was the old model of medical education. And over the last ten years that has really transitioned. And more and more institutions are expecting that before we allow any of our providers to do a procedure or a process on a patient that they've practiced it in simulation first. So we have someone who's close PCI who is in beef arrest. I don't know anything else yet. He has PCI done today. Do we have any other labs done? Charge. All right, we are charged. Charged. Okay, go ahead and uh, step back. Full compression. Clear. 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 Shock. Shock delivered. Good. Compression. If it's too simple, then it might give somebody overconfidence. If it's too difficult, it might do the opposite. So you really have to be careful that the simulated exercises are well thought through and well tested, and they need to be constantly revised as you evaluate what the outcomes are. We want doctors to perform well, not on machines or simulated scenarios, but in real life, of course. So that's where that connection has to be realistic, and that had that skills that you learn in simulation has to transfer to a real life patient encounter. There are mannequins that I've worked with that can have a seizure, that can sweat, that can cry, that can talk to you. But I don't think anyone ever expects that that's gonna change or replace a real clinical situation where there's real patients at stake in their families and other environmental factors. It looked like you guys had defined responsibilities. You came in with a plan and you actually performed exceptional, I thought, because you ran through the algorithm very well and in the end, it looks like, you know, don't always save them, but you save them this time.